And we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to create an angular portrait effect in Adobe Photoshop. So this is the original, I want to use, I press Ctrl J to copy it and then right click and convert it to a smart object. The first step is to go to image adjustments and add black and white. The default, so the preset that you should be using is uh, dependent on the image that you use. Let me try some here. Maybe I'll use this one darker as a preset, as I've said. Pick the one that fits your image best. Second step is to go to Filter, Sharpen and Smart Sharpen. What we need here is 500% mounts and 64 pixels as the radius, which is the maximum for each. And I go down to zero for reduce noise. When you click Preview, the effect will be applied in real time, but it takes a lot of processing power. For me, that's fine. I click on OK. Now we need the third step to create the angular portrait. And this involves the filter gallery. So go to filter, filter gallery, artistic, and we need smudge stick. For the stroke length, the highlight area and the intensity, you need to once again play a little bit around with it to find something that works. I want to get rid of all of these black areas as best as I can on the skin and on the streets. So these uh, grayish black areas. And something like this should be fine. So 3, 10, 20 for me. The last step is to once again use the filter gallery. So filter, filter gallery. But this time we'll add under artistic a cutout effect. And again, you need to play around with the parameters a little bit. When you go down with the number of levels, you get rid of lots of the details, which is what I want to have. The edge simplicity go upwards, so you've got a very abstract effect and then go downwards to the first step where you can see the model quite well. For me 252 two should be fine. So click on OK. And this is the four step process to create this angular portrait effect in Adobe Photoshop. So you need to make it black and white, use the Smart Sharpen and add two filters to recreate this effect. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.